takes the time and plays. I think that's what's most whistle. Fans. Singing easy. We've had Oli at the wheel. We've had we've seen the champion from Malfakov. We've had a whole collection of horrible songs to listen to. But the end of the day is well we don't need the city fans to tell us that we're fucking shit, but thanks a lot anyway. At the end of the day, it's quite simple. If you want to see a team that keeps the ball, you just saw it. But unfortunately, they were wearing blue. Our team was only string three passes together. Their goalie they shouldn't even bother to come onto the, the pitch today because, well, I think he had one save to make. That was about it. Eric Bailly, we, we spoke on the bus about the fact they'll have a really, really good game. And then the next thing is, they'll do something catastrophic and shit. And that's exactly what happened. It's going nowhere, scored one goal. And then, of course, David De Gea pulls off three excellent saves. And then, absolutely fucks up the second goal. We were never in this game in reality. They could have been maybe 4-0 up, maybe 4-1 at all time. And it's like a training ground exercise to them. Anyway, the City players are coming over to support <laughs> their fans. That's why it's got very noisy. We are miles and miles behind and Liverpool and Chelsea we're miles behind them and now Conte of course has gone to Spurs what options do we now have we've put ourselves in a right horrible place anyway it can only get better but I don't think it will